Hey guys, it's Natalia here. I am here today to go into a bit more depth with the Sephora Superstars, Sephora Favorites Superstars Beauty Must Haves Kit. Now I do also have the Super the Sephora Favorites Give Me More Lip Kit. I'm going to link a video to that below. That is also a kit I'm doing on a giveaway. I have like one or two days left if you want to enter the giveaway to win that. So I'll link everything below. But this is the um, and this is their Superstars Beauty Must Have Kit. I picked this up from Sephora recently. It is 75 US dollars, but it has 200 and $90 worth of value. I do like the Sephora gift sets. I think they do amazing gift sets. I think there's just so much in here. If you are, you know, if you want to give someone a gift, um, this would be a really good gift to have. If you, you know, you don't know what to get them, you don't know particularly what they like, there's a whole bunch of things in here that they may like, they may not like some things. It's hit and miss, but either way, they do get to try new products, which is one thing I really do love about these kits that Sephora put together. So I'm just taking off the outer packaging and we've got sort of like a rose gold box here. And when you open up, this is what you get. So there is a lot of products in here for $79 and I think it's a fantastic value. So first of all, the first thing I see here is a Deborah Lipman nail polish. I went to um, Sephora specifically to get Deborah Lipman nail polishes. I haven't, I don't, we don't have them in Australia. I did pick up two glitter ones and a pink one and I'll do a review on them coming up later. Um, so I was happy to get another one in the kit. This is a um, this is in the shade Cleopatra in New York. So it's got gold um, in black. I'm gonna just I've got nothing on my nails now, so I'm just gonna do a quick swatch on my nail just to sort of show you. So that is just one coat. The black is kind of sheer, but the glitter particles there's big and small glitter in there. So if you wanted to uh, make it a little bit more dramatic, just put like a black base over it, or you could actually just build it up and use it as a single nail polish. So I'm really happy I got that. I do like the nail polishes. They do seem to have long wearing. To me, I also find them slightly unique in that the glitter is like in a coloured base. Like a lot of the glitter nail polishes that I have, it's got different colour glitters, but it sort of se all seems to be in like a clear base that you would then put on top of like a coloured base if you know what I mean this one you don't need the coloured base like you can build it up but it has got the black nail polish with the gold glitter in it I'm just going to stop talking about that one. The next thing I've got here, and I've had a look, and this is a full-size product. This is the Smashbox Camerody BB Cream SPF 35. This is unfortunately in the shade Light, so I'm not actually going to get a chance to use it. I'm squeeze it on the back of my hand just to show you the consistency and the pigmentation and stuff like that. So that is the same shade there. Yeah, definitely. I won't be able to use it. I may be able to use. I may put it on like underneath foundation as like a. I don't know. But that is it there. Look how pigmented that is. Like for BB cream, a lot of BB creams I find are just tinted moisturizers. This isn't just a tinted moisturizer. This is like good coverage and blends nicely, seems smooth, has good coverage. Look, look at that. Actually, I might be able to wear that. That's it there. Really good, like really good coverage. I'm actually very surprised about that. I might actually go and look for that in my color. There's Prime Perfect Protect Hydrate and Control Oil in One Step to Create a Flawless Face Face in a Flash. Wear alone or under foundation for more coverage. So I might actually put that on and then put on my normal foundation on top. So I probably will actually use that. So bonus. Got a Nars lipstick here, and this is in the shade Dolce Vita. Do I have it? I do. I've already got that one and I actually really like it. So I'm going to swatch the one I've already got on the back of my hand. That's it there. It's sort of like a mauvey kind of pinky purpley shade. It is quite sheer so it's probably more of a summer um, lipstick. I think it looks really nice on my skin tone. I've already got one and I'm kind of still got a fair bit in that one. So I might just keep this one as a spare one like as a backup product. But I am glad, happy that I got that. We have also got a NARS compact here, and this is. I can't open, holy crap. This is the NARS duo in Laguna and Orgasm. I haven't actually tried Laguna because they tell me it's going to be too pale for me. So let me just see. Yeah, it would be too pale for me. That's, I sort of swapped it in there somewhere. Um, but I do have that. It's also got Orgasm in there. I don't know if I would actually, I've got a full size orgasm so I'm not too sure if I would use that particular one because I wouldn't really use Laguna but I've got it there and we'll just see what happens. I have got here a 100% pure argan oil from Josie Marin. I'm really happy that I got this one. I got another Josie Marin pack and I got the argan oil light so this is the, um, I haven't, so this isn't a double up product that I picked up. So um, organic moisturizing oil. Happy I picked up that one. Infamous Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Um, this is just a sample size, like a, um, 
miniature kind of sample size. <laughs> Happy I got that one. You can always do with some brow gels. So they've got um, these two mascaras here. This is the Too Faced Better Than False Lashes. I recently also picked up the Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm going to do a review to that if you want to go and check that out. But this is the Better Than False Lashes one. It's like a two-step thing. It says it's a nylon lash extension system. So this is steps one and three. So you activate mascara, base and top coat. And then this one is a nylon lash extension system. So you sort of work with them together. So I'll be interested to try them out. And I'll do like a demonstration review on that coming up. I've got an Urban Decay eyeshadow duo in Sin and Mushroom. That is what they look like. This one's Sin, this one's Mushroom. Really gorgeous colours to complement each other as well. So I'm really happy I got that. I don't have any Urban Decay eye what if I don't have any Urban Decay eyeshadows? I've got like palettes to galore. I haven't got any Urban Decay single eyeshadow sort of thing, so uh, that's actually really cute. Good thing to take travelling with you. I have got a Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray for Beachy Windswept Styles. I am loving Bumble and Bumble. If you haven't, if you see my um, favourites in the last few months, you will know that. This is my favourite um, hair treatment of all time. It is just amazing. And I also picked up the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressing Oil when I was in America. Um, I haven't tried this one, um, so I'm really looking forward to trying that. I hear a lot of good things about this as well. Another thing I've been really wanting to try, I've heard a lot of things about, the Origin Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. So um, full size product of that, really really good value. Considering this is, I don't know how much it is in Australia, but I'm thinking it's going to be over $50 mark. Um, and I paid like 79 US for the entire kit, like that itself is fantastic value. A Steeler Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, and this is Intense Black. This is a um, felt tip eyeliner, really really thin tip. That is some swatches, a really really thin tip. I'm going to look forward to trying that one out. And I have got a perfume sample here from Flower Bomb, Victor and Rolf, which is apparently one of their best-selling perfumes. Put that on my so a little rollerball as well. Oh wow, that's very strong. Not shit. <laughs> Not particularly my thing, but it is um maybe one no. Oh hang on. Now it's sweet. It was overpoweringly old lady's flower and now it's kinda sweet. Okay. Don't know. I'll need to play with that one. So that is the entire kit that you get from this gift pack. I think it's amazing. Christmas coming up. If you live in America or you want to use mail forwarding service from Australia, look into these um, gift sets because they're just amazing. There's this one and like I said, I've just um, done swatches and everything with the Give Me More Lip gift sets. I'm going to list that below. Go and check that out. Some amazing, amazing quality products in these gift sets. Fantastic value. I think Sephora does a really good job with these. I'm going to make a point of getting these kind of gift sets from Sephora every year because I think they're fantastic value and I just, yeah, why wouldn't I? So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it in the comment bar below. If you want to see a full in-depth review of any of these particular products, also let me know with that. I can go do that on my second channel, Glossy Confidential Reviews. I'm going to link below to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, is that it? I don't know. Social media. I'm going to link everything below. If you have a fantastic week, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.